Hey everybody, it's the Roseanne Barb podcast. Welcome to it. Glad to have you here. Um, I guess I'm getting a lot of good views, which is good. And, uh, you know, I just love talking to people, telling them the truth, not bullshitting them, trying to be real because I think it's called for in these times. And, uh, you know, I love to be real. I can't be anything but real because I have a lot of mental illnesses. And once I start lying, Woo! I go off, you know. So I can't, I gotta be honest because I can't remember my lies. Oh, you see, my patience is growing. I'm so excited because you know who I have as my guest. Introduce him, Jake. I want you to give him a good introduction. Well, you want me to introduce him? Yes, you go do ahead. it. Pimp on a blimp. You got oh, to okay. In. Well, first of all, hi everybody. Uh, we have, this guy has been, I've been a fan of this guy for years. You know him from his videos when he called, uh, was it AOC? AOC, Big, Big Booty Latina. Big Booty Latina was the big <laughs> one. But for me, it's <laughs> when you're in a crowd know. and people are spitting on you and trying to kick your ass that I really love you. So, ladies and gentlemen, Alex I like you in the swimsuit at Target, the tuck t- suit. Thank you. And Roseanne, you know, it's funny you bring that up because we were already talking about you know stuff earlier. When I put on that swimsuit, I get hated on by the right more than anybody. Oh, I you're, know. You're just as bad as one of those transgenders. I'm like, well, I'm just trying to lampoon this stuff. But that's another thing is, and I know you're not this. I'm not even transphobic or homophobic, uh, but we should be able to make fun of these things. They're getting these kids are getting indoctrinated to cut off their genitals or getting gender reassignment surgery. So if you just bring well, that, they've up. made it illegal for us to laugh at people. Now they're going to try to take away the laughing at fat people. You know what? I'm not going to stand for it. <laughs> I paid the cost to be the boss. I took the fucking brunt of every fat joke that's ever told in this goddamn world. I was called a cow, a pig, a you know, there's Mad Magazine. They did a thing about my show, and they they ha- show me eating an entire cow. The fat jokes and the fat shame and I had to live through gives me the right to say this: Lizzo's a big fat hog. And you see, she made her uh, backup dancers eat a banana out of a prostitute's vagina. I yes. did, and I was like, you know what? I always say because you know I had to get my stomach removed and made the size of a pea, and yet I'm still able to. Weigh 150 pounds. It's like a miracle of modern science is what it is. Yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah, you, so I know a little you bit You beat about, the surgery is what yeah, they I say. Beat that. anorexia. Yeah, I have dyslexia, <laughs> anorexia. Well, and then I was driving here and I heard the funniest. But I said, when you're obese, I know in the mindset, you just inflict that obesity on others. A little bit. I mean, I was just going to say this joke, Artie Lang. I was listening, and I think he's funny, but he said, he, uh, he said, yeah, I can never go swimming because I'm never 30 minutes in between meals. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've always, but, but yeah, these are the type of jokes. We should be able to make fun of fat people, but now yeah, fat acceptance. We should be able to make fun of the people who rule our lives too, the fuckers. They're, they're trying to kill every joker and jester on earth and make it illegal for us to say, hey, you motherfucker, you're naked as a goddamn jaybird swinging your goddamn dick around at all the children face I want you to put your fucking pants back on and zip them up and go back into your home the emperor you're out of office you're brilliant the emperor has no clothes but it's funny because you know now you're a comedian you still are a comedian but because you're calling yourself a truth teller isn't it sad for us just saying like you know truth that they want to shut you down because we're calling out their bullcrap. I mean, isn't that kind of weird? That's the counterculture of the people that are actually speaking against the mainstream media. I just think that's really bizarre. Well, that's the establishment that doesn't want any dissent or any alternate opinion. But what the state decrees that, you know, oh, they're just the almighty state, aren't they? Everything yeah, they're not centralized. Something. That's why they cut the police. They, they defund the police because they want to... Uh, nationalize the police like the Nazis did. You know, they want to uh, run all the police. And that's why Obama militarized all the police and made all them tanks and all them outfits like in Star Wars. Obama did that because he militarized the police force. And yet they're going around, we love Obama, as as they're getting arrested right and fucking left, you know, and put in prison, made to get 16 cents an hour working for corporations. Well, 
No, and, and people get mad at me because you and I are talking about how they call us alt-right. But listen, I do think our judicial system is totally screwed up. My family were in the bail bond business. Wow. I mean, I'm just saying black people get charged with the same crime as white people and their outcome is much worse. Yeah, and it's not just, always. Always. And it's not just because they're poor. And if you call that out, you're like, oh, well, systemic racism does exist. People don't even want to realize that. But this is what, what I'm, my point I'm trying to make is that the black people are the most marginalized by the people in power. Like they use them as a pawn. And this is how you know it's such BS is that. They, and you know what? They give them back the reward they give them jail <laughs> well jail and fentanyl oh my gosh the fent okay so you want to talk about As this you know the cia brought that cocaine into let me tell that's you that's proven oh the iran contra yeah do you read the declassified CIA, I read, CIA documents that's I, what i love i love that i just go down there to my agency caa and <laughs> I access by their computers, and it just all comes up in inbox. Yeah, they have the Jeff <laughs> they have the Jeffrey Epstein files for yeah, sure at CAA. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, I mean he was running the world, Epstein, wasn't yeah. he? I mean he was with Bill Gates. He's with all. I mean with the he the heaviest of heavy hitters. And all they say is, oh, he trafficked young girls. Well, that was just the beginning of it. The fucking guy was trying to breed a new being yeah but but you know they even tell this that the you know it's like what is it truth in the movies lies in the news you know if you watch any of these james bond movies they have what's called honey potting like a lot of vagina these women that are spies that sleep with a man yeah they so they've been doing this since the beginning of time where yeah. people put important people in vulnerable situations and yeah. use it as blackmail but they never ever factor in that those women are mk ultra sex slaves oh, yeah and they were made that way uh you know in in the whole uh scheme of things the whole system of things they have to you know severely abuse those women to get them to be like that wait what's the and, thing you, know, you said about and they end up ceo's wives that's why i say epstein girls run the world like after beyonce song girls run the world right. but uh because you know they are and plus they're witches on top of it they're friggin' Satanist witches on top of being gorgeous and sex slaves. Well, Beyonce's alter so ego can... is Sa Sasha Fierce. That's her. That's her satanic alter ego. She talks about. Did I know because yeah. they're all like under MK Ultra sex kittens. It's called sex kitten MK Ultra mind control. What's the thing about Epstein breeding? What was that? Yeah, he, he, he was he was tangent. using a DNA. That. To breed his own children Modern so day he eugenics. could kill them and Explain. use their stem one of you, cells one of you to time. keep his, mom's, I guess, egg-shaped penis hard. <laughs> yeah, he did it. He described it as an egg shape. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he wanted to have a ranch with like hundreds of girls that he could impregnate because he wanted to create like a super line of wealthy people, basically like eugenics. Yeah, yeah eugenics. You know? Yeah, that's what he wanted to do. Was he going to have sex or sell the kids? Or well, he was even going to have a gonna lab. He kill the kids for their stem cells and then give their bodies to Bill Gates to make that new meat that he's selling. Well, they're going to do something <laughs> with these kids probably. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Well, that's a movie <laughs> Soylent Green in the movie Soylent Green. I, I, that movie. Bridge, yeah. I see that movie like Planet of the Apes. Those two movies. That's what's happening right now. Yeah, truth well, in the movies. What was the line? It's, it's truth in the movies. Lies in the news. Where's that? Oh, from? I love this, that. This, yeah, a lot of this. Uh, well, one guy, uh, RV, says it. He's a you know big truther. But I, there is a lot of foreshadowing. Like, okay, we talk about declassified stuff. Let's talk about talk about Operation Northwoods, which was a plan oh. during the Cuban Missile Crisis to hijack planes, fly them into buildings in Miami to start a war with Cuba, and that's the same declassified classified plan to a T that we used on 9-11. Absolutely. <laughs> and I like how, I mean, we're probably really going to get in trouble. Who cares? For Let's so, go for it. I'm going to say a prayer. Please. <clears throat> George and, Bush did 9-11. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. You said George Bush did 9-11. Oh, I taught my grandson to say that. That was one of his first sentences. <laughs> I have it on video. George Bush did he goes, Bush did 9-11. <laughs> Bush did 9 -11. Bush did 9 -11. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. And that's true. I mean, it, well, it, even if they, you believe the official story that he says that him and Condoleezza Rice were briefed by the FBI and they didn't take the threat as credible. So they even admit that they had prior knowledge and they just oopsie poopsie. But they don't talk about the drills that they're running, that the drills were actually about hijacking planes and flying them into buildings. They don't talk about how NORAD, it, was, it wasn't able to scramble the jets for an hour to shoot these planes out. Then they don't tell us about Flight 93 over Shanksville. They say, oh, well, you know, the passengers just overthrew the plane and then crash it into the ground and then there's no parts of it that's they, not true hold on you know what they found they found a handkerchief and the passport yeah they found passports they always they'll, find the passport <laughs> yeah that right was fully intact the, the passport not and burned his, up like his hat wrap 
for they, whatever. They can't find the black box, but they found or two the, passports. Or the, or the pipe bomber, or who has the cocaine in the White House. I mean, and well, we know whose cocaine that was. We know whose. Who do you think it was? No, it's Hunter Biden's. Biden's. No, I do not think it was. You don't think so? No. Well, I mean, there probably was in cocaine. Let's hear it. Do you think it's Joe's? <laughs> Well, I think they're all doing some of it, but yeah. I think that it belongs to someone else in the White House. You're going to say Kamala, right? Maybe. You well, know. she is laughing her ass off at shit that ain't funny all day <laughs> yeah, long. Yeah, she's all, <laughs> she maybe she's is all hyped up, and you she, know, she got her the job. same thing over and over and over. And you know, she and got, none of it makes any goddamn sense. Oh, I'm in a blue dress, but you know, she got her job by giving a BJ to Willie Brown, the yeah. mayor of, of San Francisco at the time. I, I mean, know, she, and she even admitted it. And then Gavin Newsom, who's probably going to be the 2024 candidate. No, he isn't because he's a Satan worshiper. Well, that's that probably helps him. Look, at, look yeah. at, no, no. These people, they are, these people have got to stop these Satan worshipers. They got to stop it. Yeah, I agree. But I think, And if they don't, wait. then what the hell? What's the I thing? I don't with, know what I'm going to do. Well, I'm going to die my way out of it. She's going all over. But What's I'm the thing telling with, you what, the, my kids and their kids that leave them behind, I worry for them. I'll be up there in heaven with uh, all, you know. No, I worry about kids. I don't know how. I'm, I'm afraid to have a kid right now because if they go to school, they're going to say, oh, here, cut off your penis, you know, for Instagram clout. Literally, you watch these libs of TikTok. Well, think about what the Jews do. They start cutting on that penis in a week. <laughs> What the hell? I mean, I know. Huh? I can't stand that, but people get mad at me when I talk about it. It makes you look bigger, though. I like it. It does make no, yeah. it really does make you look bigger. I mean, they, I had a botch circumcision, so uh, yeah. I might, oh, so yeah. did Jake. Yeah, so we both. No, so Jake's, you're huge. <laughs> no, Jake's, it started pumping out blood like artery. No, it did not. Yes, it did. Oh, I was and kidding. Oh. Dad, no, no, it really did. My dad had to pinch it. Plus, I have. Severe PSTDS, whatever it's called. Yeah, one of those. PTSD, yeah. all, all the same. And uh, so I lost, I was just screaming, oh my God, you know. And so his dad, he started to get a piece of gauze and pinch the penis and we... What'd the rabbi do? He was late. It wasn't a rabbi. It was, it was at the hospital. Oh, was at the the hospital. nurse did it, snipped, and snipped an artery or something. Oh my God. The fucking witch. Wow. I got the witches these working nurses, in the hospital. Well, you know, all, all these doctors and nurses, they don't know a damn thing. And even if they go to school and they get their degree, they're in such debt. That, that, like, I have no... I mean, I'm just saying... I have the no whole faith. thing's fucked. They Nobody can fuck do up. right even if they wanted yes, to, I'm saying. which they don't. They don't even care. But if they wanted to, they wouldn't even be allowed. Like, if they try to prescribe all these medications during COVID, no, you're not allowed to. And if they prescribed it, CVS wouldn't fill it. So, no, these doctors have no control. The pharmaceutical companies control everything, basically. And that's why, you know what pisses me off the most is, is our country has such a depression problem, so, so such a mental health crisis. Yeah, mental health crisis. But when you go to a doctor, what they prescribe you is a pill that gives you more suicide idolization. So, I know. <laughs> ideation. Or ideation. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm taking, I always say that Are wrong. you depressed? I'm Take an, this pill. Yeah. It's going to make you feel a lot better once you jump off a bridge. Yeah. <laughs> Not just that. It's hom it gives you suicidal ideation and homicidal Homicide. yes it makes and, yeah here's the best then one. they start getting mania. the therapist yeah. you know everybody says no mental knows. health patients say this so i'm allowed to say it because i'm a mental health patient yeah me too we say therapist when you rearrange the words it's the rapist well you know how i know that's true we talked about this earlier they're, mine, they're handlers like kanye talks about no, you're right, because I got to bring this into it. a guy, my icon, Jake's icon, is Howard Stern. He goes to therapy four times a week. Yeah, it's not working. It, no, it's not working. He's only gotten more weird idiosyncrasies, more, uh, you know, uh, uh, probably antisocial behavior from constantly speaking to a therapist. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't go and speak to somebody if you got something on your chest, but I, I really don't trust any of these psychologists or therapists. Well, they're handlers. Yeah. Well, they also get kickbacks, too. Yeah, oh, they they yeah. make money off prescribing you drugs but then xanax Plus they only give you half the drugs and they take the other half for every <laughs> prescription yeah and xanax is a great drug like if you're afraid to fly like when i talk about the drug spectrum allegedly <laughs> <laughs> allegedly i'm saying I've, I've done them all i've done the coke i've done the weed this and you that. have oh come on i'm a pimp on a blimp i've done it all but I'm, i mean I'm, what i'm saying is is when it comes to xanax it can be the only drug where you're afraid to fly and you give it to a person they can fly on a plane so it is like a miracle drug in that sense. yeah for them it is yeah for them but then it 
it's also this poisonous drug where it's incredibly addictive where it's like now all these kids they try to go get a Xanax and it has fentanyl like you're saying mm-hmm. in it so they get you on these prescription pills and this is why I want to bring this up so we talked about the show Cheaters how I started Roseanne why you was on that show I was that on that was my favorite okay show. you'll love it so so yeah. I, worked, I worked out started off as a production assistant when I was in college I actually got suspended for a semester at LSU I did graduate because I got in a bar fight and then I was on I was on probation and when I say a bar fight it was actually on campus fight after the bar excuse me let me preface that but I'm the only person ever to get suspended from LSU for a semester because I snuck in a bottle of vodka during the Ole Miss football game and got caught by a cop so when I got suspended I thought it was so bad I got a job working for this reality show called Cheaters where we catch people cheating on their husbands and wife and I started off like cleaning the toilets then I moved up to where I was one of the producers, basically putting the episodes together. But... Would that take a week? Yeah, I know. Seriously. <laughs> I just the fact that I wasn't in jail. That's what they use. All the other producers kept going to jail. No, no. But th- th- this is the – I don't even want to give you the whole story. But so the, the host of the show, he was the second host. His name is Clark Gable. His grandfather is Clark Gable from Gone with the Wind. Wow, famous actor. No way. Yeah, so, but listen, you'll love the story. So his – so Clark Gable, the grandson, was from L.A., grew up in Hollywood, was the biggest – Was dr- he gorgeous too? Oh, handsome hunk. Yeah, oh, a very shit. good friend of mine. He's very good looking and he was a party animal i'm telling you roseanne when i was just joking like i partied a little in college but this guy would do lines of cocaine take pills he had a high drug tolerance well at the end of the 17th season he called how me. many years was that it, now it's still going on it's, on, it's, on, it's almost 20 years it's oh one of the oh my long- god it's so great it's that good and it's syndicated in like 27 different countries it's they, the best they, show in ever. russia they love it because they like making fun of americans and seeing our <laughs> stuff they love a cheaters in foreign countries so listen because this is kind of i got pre-canceled but so clark gable my friend he goes he runs out of his prescription he has a doctor in california and he grew up with his dad taking him to strip clubs Grew up, he dated Paris Hilton, like he grew up the ultimate degenerate lifestyle. But I mean, he was cool, actually pretty well-adjusted kid. He ran out of his pills. He had a prescription to some pain pills, went and bought some pills off the street. It had fentanyl in it, took him and never woke up. Yeah. And this is a guy that had a huge tolerance. He wasn't, this wasn't the kid trying his first drug. He had an experienced guy who was 31 at the Doesn't time. Take much. So when I say kid, he had a daughter, 19-month-old daughter. Oh. No, yes, it was. I know it's the well, war. it does, it just destroys communities, and they want that. Like, China loves it when they're the ones that are creating all this fentanyl, they think yeah. it's great because they can poison our, our cities, you know, inside by infecting all these kids. And you imagine being a parent and your kid die. I mean, it's just it, it's such a tragic thing, the drug crisis. Um, but so what happened with Clark? He died, and they said, Alex, you're going to be the next host of Cheaters. And I was so excited, I've been working, you know, there so long, no and way. I would have been a good host. Yeah. And then, right before April 2020, right when the pandemic was starting off, they hired this guy named Peter Guns. And the show's distributed by Viacom, Viacom, and it's on CMT, VH1, and MTV. And so they hired a black guy, which that makes sense, and they made him change his name to Peter Panky because they didn't want to glamorize gun violence. <laughs> Oh, no. Yes, they did. Oh, it, no, 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 no. And, but it was the greatest thing ever. I was so sad at the time. I was like, oh, I'm going to make six figures. I'm going to have this job. And I didn't get it. And another guy that was working on the show was like, hey, Alex, you need to start doing your podcast. And that's when I started my podcast. That's when I started calling out politicians, going to public meetings. So for me- I love when you go to the it is, the school board. Is is that where you're going? Oh, I go to the school, school board. I go to the city council. I've spoken at every city. No, but there's there's I, not a meeting I haven't been to. My favorite is the school council, though. Yeah, or well, I say my daughter's a lizard. She identifies as a lizard, <laughs> Lizzie. And, no, they go crazy. You know what? My grandsons were here visiting me, and they told me that they have a furry teacher. In oh. Their, listen, in their public school, for real. And his child is a furry, too. And they they don't have to wear full furry outfits. They just wear the gloves. And you have to respect that they're a furry. They are not a human being. They are a animal, and you have to accept that. I mean, is that some MK Ultra mind control programming shit that you will look at another human being and see an animal? Come on, people. This is Germany, you motherfuckers. Why don't you wake up, you goddamn idiots? Well, it's eugenics because they also want to treat yeah. these people so they don't have kids, so they can't reproduce. I mean, that's another that's thing. That's the whole goal of it. Plus, I think... You know, did you see Sandra Bullock on the Ellen DeGeneres show saying she uh, smears a baby? Oh, yeah. They all get the facials. Foreskin, with, yeah, with the, the foreskin. Well, the worst is Charlize Theron has two adopted black children and both of them are trans. Yeah. What are the odds? What are the odds? She has two kids, two two young black kids, and both of them are trans. Both are boys now dressed as girls. 
I mean, I that one, it just breaks my heart. It's disgusting what's happening. And, and they, this is the people that love science. That they'll tell you that, you know. Uh, oh, my God. And, and they're giving, and this is another thing is, mm. I, I, could you imagine cutting off a kid's penis before they can be an adult and have any sort of sexual. I like how all the doctors are lesbians. <laughs> Nobody ever points that out. <laughs> well, and that's. that's a, like, we need to cut those dicks off. <laughs> well, that's, that's a big, the problem. That's We've a big get one. rid of them dicks. Well, when, when the, all the dicks, if we can cut the dicks off as children, then they won't be a fucking complete oppressive asshole and get on my nerves when they're big. Well, Roseanne, you know this, how many girls get married, and this happens to guys too, where they turn out to be gay. A lot of those times where they get divorced, it's the mom becomes a lesbian, and then the kid, you know, they all of a sudden indoctrinate them to say they're in the wrong body. And no kid is born in the wrong body. Could you imagine telling a kid? I was born in the wrong body. I tell you what, because <laughs> in my mind, I'm Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Well, I can't argue with that. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. This shit don't work. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's gender dysphoria. I mean, that's what these people... It's they, called body... Uh, oh. body Biomorphic dysmorphia. body disorder. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's body a, dysmorphia. That too. I got that too. Well, I can't tell the difference between me weighing 90 or, a hun or 250. When I look in the mirror, it all looks the same. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't suffer from that, thankfully. But I do mean, you suffer from any? You're a Jew, right? Well, I'm a fake, kind of a fake Jew. My grandparents were Jewish, and then I, <laughs> I never, I, I should be a real Jew. If anybody asks, I mean, I don't want to pretend to not be a Jew, but I should have been a Jew. My grandparents were, but my grandfather got my grandmother pregnant and then left her and started a new family. So, uh, my dad, you know, he was raised Christian, and I was raised Christian by oh. my grandmother. Yeah. But I mean, I really am a Jew technically, but I'm not. I mean, I guess my parents are Jewish, but I'm not. Well, I never got a bar mitzvah. We should have one. So I know, but I kind of. It I, isn't nothing to do with that BS. I know, but I'm just saying I never got to have any. I could cool tell stuff. you were a Jew right when I seen you on TV. Because the name Stein. Yeah. yeah, Stein gives it away. Yeah, I think that's pretty. Well, He's in the Jewish Illuminati. Like Jew. Did you know? Yeah. That? <laughs> tell, now tell we're gonna get canceled one more time. It's time to come out, Alex. Yeah. No, people always say that. You know, Alex. You know. Well, you act like a Jew, as I know. I know. And I don't spend you any know, money specifically. No. No. I fly Spirit Airlines everywhere, and I, and I make decent money. That's but, Jew. That makes you a Jew. And yeah. you're real funny and yeah. iconoclastic. <laughs> And you like, I'm iconoclastic yeah. from you. Oh, and, shut up. Shut it down. Shut it down. You'll, you'll go all the way over the edge with the shit. Like I want, the I, Jews always do. I want to I want to go over the edge. I mean, I think that the, the fact that we have No, these... but you did go over the edge. It got slapped down like a bitch. Well, how How'd I, that feel, baby? Well, I mean, whenever the the hot dogs. I've been yeah. I've been canceled a couple times. Can, can we talk about one thing? But first talk about how you're in the Jewish Illuminati because we Oh, yeah, we're well, we do need to get into that because you know, yeah. Roseanne, right. that, that was the funniest thing. When I started to blow up, and you know, I agree with some of those people on the right, but some of them yeah. are like, "Well, the only reason he's popular now is he's the Jewish Illuminati, Alex Stein. He's picked by Jeffrey Epstein, and you know, he's in a meeting, and then I'm drinking the adrenochrome and the blood of children with Hillary, and now uh, I got appointed. Uh, but, but actually, this is why they actually have some weight. They're like, "Well, Alex Stein's most famous for confronting AOC and calling her big booty Latina. Don't you think AOC was in on it? And you know." And AOC and I were in cahoots, and that's why. Is she in the Julon? Jul no, she doesn't even like Jewish people. But I'm just saying, you know, a, a conspiratorial person. She had a good sense of humor about it. Yeah, I she thought. gave me the piece. And honestly, yeah. listen, her politics are garbage. But she's yeah, actually, they're total fucking trash. But yeah. but I'll even defend her a little bit. At least she's passionate about the shit she believes in. Me all too. these other fuckers, they're on the right. Yet all the no, she just wants to get her own sitcom. And she's going to get one. She's might end up backdooring a presidential run, sadly, soon. I wouldn't be surprised. Big oh, Latina maybe they'll back bring dooring. her in instead of Michelle <laughs> Obama. That's what they're saying. Big they're Mike. Gonna... Do you think she's a trans? For, for the people watching this, I, I think it's very unusual that there are no pictures of her pregnant. And then Joan Rivers conveniently passed away right after that she said that she was a transgender. And then Barack Obama, his own biographer, is coming out just yesterday or two days ago saying that Barack Obama wrote letters to his ex-girlfriend saying that he fantasized about having sex with men. I've never written that down in my life. Oh, I want to have sex with a guy. I mean, that that's gayer than gay. I mean, that's I mean that's almost gayer than gay sex, writing a letter that you want to have sex with a guy. <laughs> like, I think gay Depends sex... On the yeah, I think gay sex might be less gay than writing that letter. <laughs> so he is gay, is what I'm saying. And so Michelle well, then that is Michael. would prove that Michelle's a woman. Well, no, I, I think... think. If he was gay, 
if he said he was fantasizing having sex with a man, uh, then he he was having sex with a woman. But that this was his ex girlfriend. Yeah, this right? is before. This is pre Michael. Oh. Yeah, this is pre uh, pre Michael. And then yeah. she the, to me, it's more the penis when she's dancing. On yeah, the that was and weird. The flapping dildo. Yeah. The well, cock, that's she did. The thing. I mean, having Grab a penis. Herself, taking the kid to the yeah. college. She was I scratching her balls on camera with the uh, white sweatpants. Yeah. yeah, those pants on Ellen too, like you're saying. And then my, one of my favorite comedians, a guy named Chingo Bling, and he says, "If they have an apple, that means they have a banana." And like her neck looks something weird about her neck. She has the shoulders. Well, it's those lats. That's those lats. That's what I'm yeah. saying. She has a very masculine. Yeah. But then she does canoe. I seen that picture where she and Barack are canoeing, yeah, and yeah. she's right there in the front. That's right after they murdered their chef and they dropped him off the <laughs> canoe, and they were canoeing back yeah, to shore. He that, saw her allegedly. Yeah, allegedly, all of this allegedly. is alleged. Yeah, that, we're just riffing. This is all just a joke, guys. Do not. Yeah, uh, this know. is entertainment purposes only, is what yeah, we like. So to but he definitely joke. killed his chef. I don't think he did. He wouldn't get his. You don't think so. Dirty. No, uh, he, you don't have to get his hands dirty. He's got drones like he droned them. What was it, 200 <laughs> weddings? No, 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 no he, he, he dropped uh, a drone Syria. strike every 20 minutes for eight years, and his whole campaign, oh, well, I'm going to get us and out of the Middle the East. the peace prize. Yeah, yeah hope, no, hope but, and change. Yeah, hope and change. And, and I bet you, I liked him in 08. Like, I mean, I remember like the black community was so pumped up. Like, I remember being like, oh, Barack Obama's cool. I cried when yeah, he won. He's the so cool happy. black guy. I Everybody, and, and that's another thing. Because I knew what he was going to do. Well, see, you knew, but even the conservatives, I ran against him. Yeah, in 2012. Because I knew he was a national socialist. But my point is, even people on the right, they love to put up black conservatives. People aren't even anti-black. Like, they want to try to say everybody in the world's anti-black. Like, there was a lot of white people that liked Barack Obama. So this racism problem that they talk about, it's the system being racist. Most people aren't going to, oh, I'm not going to check out your groceries because you're not the right color. Go drink at that water fountain. That that type of no, racism but doesn't it, exist. but... In the institution itself, it's completely racist. Oh, a thousand like, percent. Okay, like you can't say the cops ain't like that. And they're they all are. Freemasons too. Have you ever well, looked into that? Well, think about this: the the punishment for crack is way higher than the punishment for cocaine because cocaine mm -hmm. is a rich white. And you know, the Klan and the cops has been. Uh, duo for a long, long time. You know, the Democratic Party started. Democrats. Yeah, the Democratic That's Party what started. That's don't want to hear. Well, they say the that truth. the party switched. No, but they didn't switch. switch. No, they but, they, say but they have in the last 10, 15 years. Yeah, because now the Republican Party, well, if we get rid of rhinos, times. it'll be the work, the working people's party. Yeah. Well, but but that's why they need to get rid of those rich, you know, those paid actors yeah but you know all the paid actors needs to go they're nothing but lobbyists they every don't work for the politician people. is a paid actor it's all political well, that's theater what i mean yeah but we got to come up with some sort of test you got to pass and you got to be a decent kind-hearted person that wants to make your community safe for the children where they have good schools and we were talking about and they have to have good medical care too 100 and it should be because you pay taxes you get it and so we are not far right. I really always hate that they say that. Insulin being two hundred dollars in We're Texas. Populist. Yeah, I'm a populist all the way. We should have medical caps. We should have affordable care. I mean, absolutely. It doesn't make sense that these. We shouldn't have to call an insurance agent before we go to the hospital. Well, for why do Republicans sake, get to make so freaked them out rich? About they it. make money off somebody breaking their leg. Are you shitting me? It's time to get rid of that. I agree. It's a new day. And then in Canada, you see now the new craze is a medical assisted suicide made where they're just killing people because if they say their hip hurts, they're saying, oh, well, you're approved for government funded uh, assisted suicide. I like that though. I know. <laughs> well, I that's, that's the new thing. That? No, they should make that here. I th but hold on. Why do you think Republicans are so against socialized medicine? The far right, I said, they're always calling us far right, but we're populist. Yeah, but but, but this, what specifically? Because is the, it? the people because that. Because they always are saying no government, you know, the no government control, but it doesn't have to suck just because it always sucks. Yeah, they it might doesn't have, a point. have to suck. You could put some godliness into it and make it work for people. Come on. And and I'm all about the government not being involved in business, but if they should be involved in any business, it's the healthcare business. Yeah, keeping people alive for fuck's sake. And they, 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 But they're all up on their ass. If you try to do a new oil well in Alaska, oh, the penguins. If you try to do a drill for oil anywhere else, they're going to talk about the environment. Yeah. Well, the penguins.
penguins, though. Jesus Christ, you can't get rid of the penguins. <laughs> I'm, I'm pro penguins. I'm a vegetarian. I love the penguins. I'm just saying that they give us, you know, this, oh, we got to save the environment, climate change. That's the new scam. That but you have to save the environment. Like there in L.A., they tried to build over the wetlands, you know. And now all that shit's sinking right into the dirt 40 years later. No, you're exactly right. Like uh, uh, humans do have an effect on the environment. but they. I mean, if you have to grease somebody's palm with five k and they'll let you build over a uh friggin uh, nuclear reactor <laughs> yeah and then you sell it to some poor chump it's sickening no but where's the protection for consumers that used to exist yeah but these politicians you're right like for five grand they just sold us out piece by piece well and that's why like we say the right side and you say oh why are they in it why don't they want socialized health care it's because all their money comes from pfizer as soon as they yeah. get in power they probably go in like you said these grandmothers or grandparents and they have you know this like oh i want to help society but as soon as you get in there it's a beast system you know they're getting chewed up and spit out and they just want to keep their job and so if people like here's money here's money from pfizer plus here's they have you on tape having sex yeah they <laughs> And then they have you drinking the blood of a child. <laughs> yeah, like, that's how you have to tape. get jumped into that gang. You know, people go, uh, they don't realize what you'd have to do to get jumped into a cartel, and it's much the same. Yeah, no, that's exactly. Ain't they that they right? beat your ass to get into a cartel. Like they literally kick your ass. No, and then you see Lindsey Graham, who oh, he fuck like, that guy. Yeah, he said, "Oh, a dead Russian is good to him." That's disgusting. I don't want any dead people anywhere. Who says shit Lin like that? Uh, uh, Satan. Yeah, yeah, I mean, a person that. Why would you want anybody to die? Even if you disagreed with them, apparently, like there's people on this earth that I dislike and just love. That's something Hitler would have said. Exactly right. Ain't it? That's literally exactly That is what he said, as a matter of fact. And Lindsey Graham cheated and committed election fraud, too, and so did Mitch McConnell. I Nobody know. Nobody talks did. about well, it. Well, what did that, what, on they their did deal? the same ship I did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they they're all they're as it. crooked as a dog. No, they are. are. The whole yeah. thing's rigged. Nobody in well, there got Trump. elected. Well, not Trump. Trump didn't cheat. No. <laughs> Nobody got elected. Uh, Joe Biden got more black votes than Barack Obama. Give me a fucking break. More Here votes right. than any candidate in the history. I know, America. but from the black community. Oh, yeah. The black community was loving Barack Obama. I mean, they were dancing. They had every t-shirt. And there's a joke. Biden hasn't sold any merch. You don't ever see a Biden t-shirt. Well, what about that satanic cup he's got? And then it goes, go to B Dark Brandon. They, they fucking trademark Dark Brandon. How satanic is that? He's got his own satanic cup with the devil red eyes that see all and control all with absolutely no guilt. Going, I like my coffee black. Like I like my young victims. Yeah, basically from right. Haiti. Oh, and then talk about Hillary Clinton. She raised what uh, two hundred million dollars, and they built one house. I think they. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I literally, I think they built. I think total, they yeah. built uh, like one complex that, that housed fourteen people. <laughs> they raised. Well, it had an underground tunnel. That <laughs> yeah, that was, it did. It had. A and then Laura Silsby got caught at the border with a bunch of Haitian children. Yeah, she did, and they had a pipeline straight yeah. through underground. Yeah. I'm I'm telling this is from declassified stuff. Just say allegedly. To, yeah, allegedly. Yeah, this is all alleged. alleged in a fairy tale allegedly. in a video allegedly, game. Allegedly, allegedly. there a was game. a underground system <laughs> from. I was Haiti, joking. Is that a real thing? From Haiti oh. to Epstein Island. No, there. You know, they say there's all kinds of weird tunnels like that, and I believe it because all have, around the world, well, have, have you ever looked at the system of tunnels? Well, they have deep that's underground military say, bases. Yeah, it's called dumbs. Which, that's where we've been at war for seven years. No, and, and nobody in America knows it. Yeah, but don't. they keep on getting all these uh, earthquakes and shit. Hold on. You got to let Alex talk a little bit. No, no. I love He's hearing sorry. this. No, no. no but no, it's good. Well, we're, we're talking about underground. No, no need to apologize at all. I'm saying you're talking about underground stuff. Yeah, There's dumbs. Get into Yeah, it. dumbs. I mean, deep yeah. underground military bases. So there are tunnels. They're all, they say under the Vatican, the catacombs. We don't even know. As a matter of fact, they get so deep. Roseanne, let's get into this. It's called- How Trump. about when Trump went yeah, over to- no, no, let me get really deep. Trump yeah. went over to the Pope let, and let flew him talk, eight, 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 eight airports. Planes full of our gold back to America. Did you hear that one? I don't remember that. I believe that it just happened. Okay, go on. Now. Well, I just want to say. So this is this is what we talk about underground. What's a dumb? Yeah, it comes. No, it comes down to this. There's a theory of called Tartaria, and I think yeah, it, it comes from the Bible. <laughs> there, there was a mud flood. I mean, the reason why you like sounds so crazy in Dallas. There's a place called Rock Wall right outside of it, and underneath the ground, there's a huge rock wall from like the Neolithic era. It makes no sense. I'm laughing because she talked about this with Blair White last week. Oh, y'all on the podcast. Tartaria. I was listening to. It, I didn't realize it's I Tartaria. Didn't think I, I guess maybe okay, but I'm just saying there is something weird that there was probably mud, and then you go into a lot of these cities like New York where 
where they you know excavate a new building and there's a whole underground building they didn't even know about. So I'm just saying they lie about what's underneath. Listen, what I found because I'm on that uh, internet searching <laughs> with my Hebrew words and numbers, looking, you know, and I always find it. So I found this thing about Hitlerians or the ones, the eugenicists before Hitler. Okay. The ones from the 1800s that financed him. And, uh, you know, up there in Switzerland. Well, I thought it was the Rockefellers and Rothschilds that financed the, the Nazi war. Yeah. Swiss, oh, this is before. Burn, Switzerland. Okay. That's where it came from. That's where he got the money. But also, anyway, we won't go into him being a Rothschild. No. There. I mean, they've benefited An from the war. An illegitimate Rothschild. Well, I think World, I think World War Three is going to happen. I think that potentially... Well, I, let me finish oh, here. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. But anyways, the u original eugenicists, they didn't like Jews like me from the Ukraine because they said they've got to get rid of us, which they've been trying to do over there yep. for 400 years. But they said uh, because one of the words they use for us is Tartarians. Yeah. No, that's a big thing. That blew my mind. From the Tartaria region of Russia and Ukraine, the Donbass region, where they're fighting over right now, where World right. War Three is going to happen. So that's kind of weird, the weird connection of that area. Do you think we're going to World War Three? I mean, I think it's inevitable because- I do too. Because they want to have war. They Ameri need it. We don't they're all invested in it. Yeah, we don't make anything but bombs. Halliburton, Raytheon. So when our biggest industry is selling military equipment, then it benefits us. Like That's what they tell us in school books. Like, oh, the war helped the economy. And you're like, huh, how is that? Oh, it's because we sold all the bullets we made all the bombs <laughs> the bolts, and then we go and blow them up and then we got to recharge all of the taxpayers for these bombs so listen the people are like and oh. then nation build after yeah, oh yeah we bring democracy yet yeah, when hillary clinton uh, killed muhammad uh, or muammar uh, gaddafi in libya and now there's actually slave auctions and as a matter of fact he built a dam that gave water to millions of africans in inner africa and she blew up that dam that gave clean water to hospitals to the the, the ruralist parts of africa that's Demonic. She's amazing. She's the best. It is demonic. Make That's an African demonic. kid starve and, and dehydrate himself to death because yeah. you have personal beef. With Where them. did all those kids go? They they went to the underground house. They were Epstein's Haiti? Island. They <laughs> just went to Epstein Island. <laughs> all you can eat Allegedly. buffet. Allegedly. Yeah. That's all they had to do. It's a buffet. <laughs> all you can eat. They're yeah. like, oh, I want to go. Like like they're strong. The kids they, they like that melanin. Yeah, there's something to that. There is something. They do. Weird. Well, mom says it's because those kids have never had the Roundup, so they've never here. been treated with Roundup. Or, there. or they're probably and a lot. Their of... livers are far more sweeter. Or yeah. Xanax. By the way, I want to go back to no, that. No, but quick. they did all the testing in the fifties on Africans. Well, yeah, Bill Gates was still. He's still doing he's it. He's still doing it with all. And those everybody's guys. like, "We love the Democrats. <laughs> they're the party of freedom." <laughs> yeah. Will Bill Gates kill more children in Africa? Yeah, for allegedly. Us, allegedly, so we can have iPods. Yeah. Yeah, well, whatever the fuck they're calling. Oh, and them they, they care about the environment, yet you know all these battery cars. They have to use slave labor to children <laughs> to <laughs> mine it. They're like, the oh cobalt. well. Yeah, oopsie poopsie. Oh well. Well, I think we covered everything. <laughs> no, we didn't. No, we, didn't we haven't covered anything. I'm joking. No, that's what my joke is. You guys start <laughs> and then you go fifty fucking like we had nine eleven. We spent half a second on nine eleven being an inside job. You guys yeah. got to. Well, I talked we about Operation North. No, that. because you were changing the okay, subject and running around. Let's Woods. spend. Go back to spend no, I was just yeah. saying. No, go back that, to Northwoods. That, that yeah. basically, yeah. what happens is you're speaking about Hitler, but Hitler made famous the false flag attack, where you attack yourself under your enemy's flag. And then basically, oh, well, we got to go fight that. So they've had plans to do this all along. I mean, really, you could talk about COVID. That could be arguably a f false flag where you get your own people sick in order. You, you, What you do is you scare people because you want them to trade their freedom for safety. And in the end, you're not going to have freedom. You're not going to have safety, especially if it's dealing with the government. So that's why with 9-11... That was the beginning. Like, that was the start of the New World Order. And I'm sure, obviously, they had plans before that. But for me, that was like their ritual. It was a basically a, a snuff film. We all watched it. We all watched people die. Everybody had an emotional response. And then it said, well, let's go and kill them Iraqis. And you had us like, you know, it just, it was a brainwashing and it worked. Yeah. It I was, was going to join the military. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because it's always trauma inflicted and then they introduce. Trauma based mind control is what yeah, they call it. it. Yeah. Right. MK Ultra. Yeah. MK Ultra. And it's been unceasing since 9-1-1 yeah, on the American public. And they were doing it before. But, you know, yeah, nobody they were doing it ever before. puts it together. What happens to people in other parts of the world as a result of us giving into this government? Well, see, it comes from the Bible. It comes from uh, the Tower of Babel. And in mm -hmm. that, 
uh, Nimrod wanted to build a kingdom to heaven to basically kill God. And what God did is, you know, he made them disperse all into different tribes where they couldn't communicate. So they want to reverse engineer that plan because if they have us under one ruler, or one currency, then they have that control. And the person that's really in control is Satan. And that sounds crazy, but no. there's no... No, other... I believe everything. That's yeah. what we talk about all the that's time. Yeah. I think so, too. You're over the target. Yeah, I mean, that's literally the B system that they want to have. And that's why, like... This digital currency, all this stuff. They're the the, the next that friggin' Schloss von Klaus. Oh, Klaus, Klaus, God. Klaus, he Klaus like Schwan. the devil. And he wants to eat bugs. You'll love, you'll own nothing and be happy. I love the outfit he wears. Like he wants to be nefarious. Oh like, yeah, he's linked into it. it. They're not. Dumb. Same with George Soros. <laughs> yeah. he's sending his gay son all around to do all this stuff. He, they don't. They know what they're doing. They're not dummies. They they're know. laughing at us. Yeah, because they're the wrestling villain, the heel, the yeah, you know, know, the Hulk Hogan or Hulk Hogan is, I guess, was a good guy. The Undertaker. Or, you know they they like being the bad guy because they don't care. Actually, Hulk Hogan was a heel. Yeah, he, he went Hollywood Hogan. Hogan. Order NWO yeah. NWO NWO. He did turn truth in movies and truth in wrestling. Yeah, that, hey, wrestling's a great one. Uh, yeah. oh, wrestling is so killer. Oh, it's, it's the best. best. But like, can we just uh, My educate used people to watch about PNAC? And she'd say, "No one, crash her. Her. Project for New Americans History." I'm yeah. trying. Yeah. No, 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 no. But I actually want to talk about wrestling. But they had this plan too. They want to invade the seven oh, biggest PNAC, threats. Yeah. They no, but they the they have it in writing that we need a Pearl Harbor style attack, and that was Condoleezza Rice, Wolf of was in that yeah all the people rumsfeld i believe they were all in Cheney, on that they wrote this joe thing. biden is one of the co-signers yeah, on the project for new american century and he's the course. president and so, so 9-11 was their plan and not one person lost their job after 9-11 as a matter of fact all the people got raises and uh you know nobody lost their job no nope. so i mean they but they tell you i right like to how face. reagan broke the uh Air Traffic Controllers Union 10 years before that. And I said, you know what's going to happen? Because, I mean, I, I'm a Jew. So I'm like, you, you know, Israel would never do that. It's going to open America to terrorism. And that's exactly what it did. No, you're right. And then of course, they were working both sides of the street. I mean, those people, they're psychopaths, so they work both sides of the street. Like I used to call it the, uh, oh, what was it? The... Uh, Cinnabon's Jenny Craig consortium. <laughs> yeah, they have the skinny place and the fat place. <laughs> right it's, the you can, it's, it's the same customer, you know? It really is. <laughs> the person's desperate to lose weight, but they're stressed and they go, yeah. yeah, no, that's double dipping for sure. But you know, it's funny you bring up Ronald Reagan because in one of his State of the Union addresses, he even said that, that in order to become a global uh, you know, society, we need an existential threat like an alien attack. He yeah. said this in I his know, speech. Yeah. And then now we're hearing all this alien stuff. That's, that's all boring. Bullshit. And aliens, if if an alien exists, it's a demon, I think, that came from hell or heaven. It's not some terrestrial being, you know, like they want us to think it's That's ET. I thing. think it's what they're creating in them dumbs. Or something. I mean. It's a Jeffrey Epstein spawn. Seriously. You know, they're taking their sperm and, uh, you know. Well, you know what they're really working on. They make chimeras. No, they really I are doing this stuff because do. they want to be able so you can make a heart. They can I know develop. what they're really working on, though. Because every time when I have a question in my mind, and my son, he probably don't know it, but my sister does. Well, I go on Shabbat, you know. Do you mm -hmm. keep the Shabbat? Well, you know, my He's rabbi, my, my attorney, well, I'm not, I mean, he. Your attorney. <laughs> my attorney, John Gross, he keeps me tight. I, you know, I have to celebrate with him. Uh, I try to, I try to fast. What was it? Was that last week, two weeks ago? <laughs> Uh, the Jewish holiday. I try to follow mm. some of it. I, you know, I, I but this is one thing. Hey, actually, let's speak about this. I think that is the biggest travesty that they do on young people is they want to hide the existence of God. They want to make yep. you think that you're just some cosmic accident. I heard you talking to Blair about this. She's like, oh, I don't know if I can believe in God. First of all, at one point, you had 8,000 grandparents. You had so much shit had to go exactly right for us to even be in this room. Right, here. exactly. And so they just tried, oh, that's an accident. We already won the lottery of life and there is a creator, but they make a kid. They say, Say, oh well you evolved from pond scum your life has no meaning it doesn't matter if you're gay it doesn't matter if you cut you'll never your... make it because people hate you and everyone who looks like you <laughs> yeah <laughs> and everything's stacked against you and you know people want to kill you oh my god one time speaking of jewish people i was there in the uh i was seeing a uh, holocaust art show or whatever it sounds, it sounds like a blast. Yeah. Sounds, sounds like a blast. Yeah. So, but it was at one of the museums. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. They all have the shoes at every museum. Uh, yeah. I, I didn't see any of that. It was yeah. art. Okay, it was art. Uh, and, uh, there, and it was all Jews there, you know. The silver pony heck, 
cocktailed socialists. Do we love we love all Jews? Just, you know. Yes, we do. Well, don't. we don't love even George ba- Soros. We love I don't George. love the bad ones at all. I want to <laughs> kick them the fuck out. They're causing nothing but trouble for me. Yeah, I'm not going to protect them or life for them or include them. Fuck them. They ain't nothing but trash. But but anyways, they ain't like me. So fuck them. Okay. But so he's looking around, and this lady, she comes in there, and her son, he couldn't been more than seven. And she took him by the shoulder, and I was in there watching the horrors of what hate does. Yeah. That's how I was receiving it. She takes her kid, pet, hand on shoulder. She goes, see what they did to us? They hate us, and we have to hate them back. We have, you know. And so it's just like a message of hate. Which I sort of understood because yeah. that's how oppressed people feel. Yeah, but it a just lot perpetuates. Of yeah, but I'm yeah, saying but to a young person. Hate. Yeah, no, it's just still that's hate. abuse. Like, that's fucking that's go, trauma-based fucking It is trauma-based because yeah. what I said, well, she should have went, you know, because I'm always thinking about how to correct people because they make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and you're not you're not outspoken at all. So. I, I never say what I think. But so I'm yeah. like, how could she have did that better? So I'm like, well, she could have went. Um, where it's our duty to not be like that, mm-hmm. right? Well, people they choose wrong all the time. I think it's the victimhood mentality. It's where, the devil. Yeah. Well, we all want to be. That a is the devil. And, and obviously, you know, the Holocaust was terrible. There was a lot of victims, you know, but but it's kind of this, we need to try to rise above the terrible things and not, we got to have a champion mindset, not a victimhood mindset. Absolutely. You know, and that's, and it, and it comes down to, this sounds crazy too, and I'm- it But be. a champion overcomes. Exactly. And it's- And the hero comes back to a rebirth. That's what we just need, a rebirth. We need to leave the- old world and let it go well i'm what are you saying Alex? i'm all about energy and, yeah. and and i feel like we're so it's this low vibrational yeah energy. they want to keep us there they if they can keep us there then we can't we can't break free we're just in this constant state of fight or flight and when we're in that fight you know or, what that's called in jew what in judaism what is it called egypt egypt it's slavery wow what were you saying well, I'm just saying when they keep you in that constant state of fear, yeah. that fight or flight, you can't make decisions. You can't see the forest for the tree in front of your face, no, you right? you can't think right. You just can't think and you can't make decisions. And that's why people are so impulsive. That's why the middle class is gone. People can't save because they're constantly worried about this or that. And then they- tr- I love how Biden goes, hey, we got a lot more employment at $2 an hour because people have to get six fucking jobs. Yeah. And, and, and after he says that he brought all these jobs back, it's because they lost, you know, 50% of the workforce during COVID. So yeah. of course you brought it back. He's like, I got the they fastest. They just reopened. Yeah. I got the fastest job growth. Literally, you just put an open sign. I mean, that's basically it all, all it was. And as a matter of fact, our, our economy is doing worse. The gas prices are yeah, higher. I mean, it's inflation. Yeah. But everyone knows it's a lie. That's Bidenomics. Yeah, but you know, this is the other thing too. I used to have a joke, uh, trickle down, Reagan's trickle down. Is peeing on us? Yeah, that's when the rich piss on the poor. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Which though. I stole from Susan Bublitz. Well Thanks, it, Susan. Well, thank you, Susan. But uh on a serious note though, these people though that are in power, you know, they keep us in that state of fear, you know, the trauma based mind control because that's the control mechanism. Yeah, because uh, how Judaism says that's Egypt. And then you decide to leave slavery. So then you have to walk in faith, like get into the promised land. And that takes 40 fucking years in the desert of suffering yeah. and going the wrong way or whatever, whatever. I mean, you could shorten it, of course, if you just listen. But people won't do that. But anyways, what you come into is free creative space. Yeah. Right. Well, well, that's why Hollywood sucks now because they're all so politically correct and they're so worried about, you know, not pushing buttons when the best humor is pushing buttons. And right. I'm not here. That's to- why I'm so happy that the writers are on strike and the robots are taking it's over. It's so great. It's going to be so much more funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. AI well- is going to kick every fucking Hollywood writer's ass. No, I love that. But li- and I'm not here to kiss your butt, Roseanne. But listen, your point of view when you created the Roseanne show was so 
unique, but it resonated with every housewife out there, you know, that had it, you know, mad about this or that. AI could never create that point of view today. No way. I don't even care with any supercomputer, especially that because it doesn't have the human touch. And this is why I know AI is a huge threat, but all these telecommunication companies, whether it's um, Apple, to, you know, whatever, all the tele, I can't, AT&T, they, they spend billions of dollars on artificial intelligence. So when you call a call center, you think you're talking to a human. Mm -hmm. Humans always figure it out within less than a minute that they're talking to a robot. Yeah. That we always figure it out. So yeah. they can't, it's called the uncanny valley. They can make a supercomputer that can predict shit and all this quantum. But it computing. ain't human. It's never going to be human because mm -hmm. even a human can tell, this isn't a fucking human. And they hang up. You know, they originally reached out to me to be the voice for Siri. No. Is that how you say it? Siri or is it a lot? Siri. Yeah. Siri. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. They do celebrity voices. You have one of the most iconic voices. And I thought, well, I'm not, I ain't going to be the voice of the for devil the 666 B system. The, and the, you know, could the, you imagine that? It'd be like, no, we did not blow up the Russian Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be in hell right 9 now. 9 11 was 19 hijackers and nothing <laughs> happened. Uh, I no. couldn't do it. So, no. wait, hold on. We had what were you talking about? You, sorry, well, we had to get into the moon. It's we have a lot oh, of yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, because we this, can go, I can go on. forever. We, we can go, go on. Long. I know, but you really got to let him talk. You're interrupting him. No, so she's not. I, he loves you. Me. Are, I do. Like I, I worship it. No, no, don't do that. He's not like Jake that tries to get me to shut up. So, no, it's not. I just want to hear his thoughts. He talks. He gets a sentence out and you interrupt Who cares him. about me? Yeah, I I'd rather about hear the Rosanna say. No, I want to hear no, Okay, but, but the moon landing, we were talking about this. No, but finish what Jake Yeah, just you. let him finish the sentence. Shut up, all. Just one sentence. <laughs> I gave birth and he weighed 10 pounds. Tell you what, I'm going to count the sentences he gets. Do out not count the sentences. No, I Do want not. her to know. No, 10 no. pounds he weighed. I had hemorrhoids like so. From pushing so hard? Mm -hmm. You owe your mom so yeah, much, Jake. I'm not being rude. I'm saying if you have a guest, I'm just let him let him finish like I'm two wrong. sentences okay okay well so you don't have to get all defensive alec oh no no alex. uh well i had to get a little offensive because i mean uh, listen i'm not being rude to my mother i'm just saying i want you to i would me. i'm gonna die for you this i would up. i would die for this woman right here just like i would die for you know like how jeffrey epstein died for all those uh <laughs> kids that he molested uh um my point is uh when we were talking earlier about blair white and how you know, she's like, not sure about the moon. This is what they tell us, the official Dinosaurs. story. That in 1969 through 1972, we had an Apollo space program that was able to go to the moon six times there and back through the Van Allen radiation belt, which is a deadly belt of radiation with technology that we can't recreate today. And they accidentally destroyed the blue plans, you know, the blueprints for. Right. So they can't even recreate it, which sounds fishy as hell. That's true. Mm -hmm. and, and then on top of that, the original guy that was supposed to go to space, a guy by the name of Gus Grissom, he was the original Neil Armstrong. He actually hung a lemon on the lunar lander before it in a press conference had an unauthorized press conference and hung a lemon and said this is not going to go to the moon then in a test mission just a test of the launch they were just going to talk to houston from him sitting in the rocket they put too much oxygen in it and they killed gus grissom him and two other astronauts died in a test program his family says that he was murdered hmm. and then on top of that when you just look at the the sure the the tech the technology aspect if you look at a 1969 lincoln and you look at a 2024 lincoln and you're going to tell me the only technology in the world to regress is space technology it's bullshit i mean just the anything yeah that makes sense it doesn't it, like and, and and this is another thing is it goes back to why would they want to fake the moon landing well it goes back to where they want to use science to trick us into not believing in god because they want to say oh the moon you know which god created that basically you know this we live in this incredible thing that we don't even know how it got created i mean other than god but then they can just say oh well we sent a man on the moon we made it we americanized the moon when that's not the case we don't own the moon the moon is two hundred and fifty thousand miles according to them and today in the international space station the farthest it can go is low earth orbit even barack obama says we can't leave low earth orbit so the only time in our space history that we left low earth orbit it was 18 men did it and it happened we have not left low earth orbit since 1972 and then you look at richard nixon was the guy that was running the space program then too when jfk died and they say that was part of the assassination thing is that he realized at some point this is costing too much money and he was supposedly this is just pure speculation was not gung-ho about faking it supposedly and that was one of the reasons that they say the cia might have taken him out mm -hmm. you know that's another kind of weird connection and then of course as soon as tricky dick 
Dick gets in, Richard Nixon, we go right to the moon. He's able to have a phone call. Yet you and I can't get cell service out here, in the, out here in the you know middle of Texas. Yet they got a, a, a phone call, no problem. 1969. He's just calling from the White House to the moon. Give me a break, mom. So. Mom, you had said last week with Blair that you got drunk with some astronaut who you wouldn't name, and he said the moon landing shall was fake. Yeah, uh, let's for well, they reasons. thought I was funny, and I always go too far, you know, like you do. <laughs> and uh, but they loved it. Yeah. So he's all drunk and all shit, and I'm missing that. So I says, uh, "Hey, we didn't go to the moon, did we? Tell me the truth." And what do you say? Yeah, you know it. I mean, I'm not, I don't even want to get all crazy because they feel guilty, especially when Bart Sabrell, this guy's one of the big moon landing denier guys. He said, "Here, swear on a Bible," and then uh, and then Buzz Aldrin punched him in the face. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. Uh, that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, they that say that guy was annoying. Though. He was annoying as hell. You yeah. get a guy. I know, he was annoying as shit, but still, oh, I'm gonna punch him in the face. You got to get a guy drunk first. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, you're a lot See? smoother. I mean, you are one of the. Oh, I got some top secret secrets. I mean, arguably, Roseanne, you are the number one female comic in the history of comedy. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's number one. I, I know. know. I'm, I'm so just... kiss my ass. Kiss my ass. Bitches. That's a fact. Because even if you said, oh, Joan Rivers, she didn't have the number one hit show twice. Mm -hmm. Nobody's had a number one show twice. Mm -mm. Nobody. Nope. I mean, I mean, I even Seinfeld back. didn't. I mean, Larry David kind of did because he had Curb Your Enthusiasm. But Curb Your Enthusiasm was never, it's still not as popular as when you came back on, you know, no. you know came what I'm saying? It's still just different. To, just to tell him to kiss my ass. Yeah. And then I went, here's a tweet for you, you fucking commies. <laughs> Can you believe that? But did you think, we were talking about this earlier. Do you think they just wanted an, an excuse to get rid of you? Of course. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But they never had the balls to go, you know what? We don't like what you're doing. They never fucking had the balls to say that anywhere along the line. They'd That's call up and go, could you remove that tweet, please? Well, and I would. But they, they, they didn't, didn't even give you the chance to do that? No, she's no. saying there were a lot of tweets that she was getting. They were unhappy about. Oh, they before would, that. Yeah, like what I said that David Hogg wearing a black armband. Oh, David Hitler Hogg. Salute. He wasn't even at the damn school. In the Hitler happened. salute. I said that's Allegedly. fascist. Allegedly. Yeah, he was on. He Allegedly. Was, he was on his They bike. said it was photo op, but it looked real to me. And I said that's a. Because I already think Antifa is Hitler street gangs. It's the same thing. I deal with these people. They're whacked out. These Antifa. No, but they're MK Ultra victims. They are. Yeah. And, it, well, and you know, it, we're speaking of... Uh, they, no, they're, they're weaponizing mental illness. No, they are. But, but speaking of getting canceled is, you know, my biological father, Tucker Carlson... Mm -hmm. um, that's a joke. I say. I know you look just like. I, him. Well, I love him. He actually he helped me out. He put me on his show. He really helped put me on the map. Yeah, he did. But I'm saying he's number one, and they take him off all because he's talking about the war in Ukraine and about January six. Yeah, the establishment doesn't like. I mean, he had the number one cable show. It's so hard to guys. All these people, they have all these Hollywood people. Oh, this show is going to be a hit. This show is going to be a hit. I'm going to put this host with this, and you actually have it. You finally have the number one show that all these smart people can finally produce, and then like, oh, we don't like the way he talks about it canceled how about disney i was their only number one show in 15 fucking years they canceled me over a tweet whereas whoopi goes on every day going kill the jews <laughs> i know and she's a fake Jew. her she, name's she, goldberg and that she's pur purposely picked that so people would think that she was i Jewish. know but she ain't no jew and no. i was like oh god damn don't get me started on that fat ass bitch well and then she's wearing a size 22 but what's the deal with ted dancing <laughs> and her how did they that couldn't have been i'm not even gonna go there i know but i'm going wait there. you don't oh. what do you know they that was a legitimate relationship was it yes not? they were in love and he did blackface at a rose well she yeah. told him to yeah it was but hilarious. i don't she even think blackface about, do you she think that's that big a funny. deal though like i thought it was well hilarious. she thought yeah. it was funny and then the next day she turns on him she told him to do it and wrote the jokes, and the next day she fucking turns on him. When he got backlash? They're fucking psycho. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that she turned yeah, on him. Yeah, she was leading that. Oh, she was sitting there and laughing, because they don't film it at the fire truck, but they had, for the fire's, whatever it's called. Fire's club. She yeah. was fire's club. But they, they were talking about how she was laughing the whole time. She had the best time. And, and then it was like two days later when the flag just started. Just like Will she Smith was up. laughing his ass off about his bald-headed wife. Yeah. And then he turned and side-eyed that bitch, and he's like, uh-oh. I better get up there and knock the shit out of Chris Rock. Yeah, but he's a couple. Otherwise, my wife is going to beat my ass while I'm doing the dishes tonight. Yeah, she runs, she wears the pants, and then there's that weird video where she's she filming him. She wears the 
the thong. <laughs> she wears the strap on. Oh, yeah, she has. Yeah. Frankly, that was unsaid, allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. She wears the allegedly strap What's on. What's the deal, though, Roseanne, with this new cuckolding thing, my wife's boyfriend? Because I always make that I joke. I bring, that I so always bring, <laughs> I bring, I got, I always have an actor come in. I got, this is my wife's boyfriend. But that's a real thing <laughs> where these people it's all totally. have. Totally. I know, they're all cuckolded guys. I told my daughter, I go, you should leave the Democrat Party. I sent her a story about a guy that sits on the bed and watches his wife and her boyfriend. And I said, this is disgusting. And her her response to me was, if it's three consenting adults, it's none of your business, mother. No, she's got a point. And she does have a point, I yeah, guess. Yeah, she well, has a point. Well, this is the other thing, too, is I'm friends Okay, with but I don't know if that guy's really consenting or is blackmailed into Or his it. wife. Well, well, this is the weird thing. Okay, so then I'm... Because he's like, the, w these women are bitches and they, they really abuse the man. Well, the cuckold thing is the guy likes to be cuckolded. Yeah, because this is a weird situation. Let me tell you the situation. Like I, I've masochist. become friends with this guy. His name's Bubba the Love Sponge. He was used to be on Howard Stern's yeah. Network. I know who he is. Yeah, so you've heard of Bubba. But he's famous because his wife slept with Hulk Hogan and it, it mm -hmm. got released. And so I asked Bubba, I go, why would you do that? He's, you know, he's kind of a mentor to me because he's been in the business a long time and he's very funny and he's like alex i'm just a swinger but he still is there's more to it than that like he liked that hogan that's what i'm saying you know and i love bubba i mean i'm gonna show him this clip there's something more to that there's something weird. Well, I'm like, it's homosexuality i think there is some homosexuality but too i think most guys are probably you know they most guys most people are go. probably homosexual. Allegedly. Maybe a little bit. Allegedly. Uh, because, hey, you know, and you know why? You know, I would argue with this, but you know, it's weird in the football. I locker, mean, every guy that goes to prison ends up, and not the, every, but a lot. But you're going to go for what's right there. Most people, well, not at most. Well, a lot of times that's some. power rape. Yeah. That's power but, control. Well, in the mafia, though, if you get arrested in the mafia and you go to jail and you have gay sex, that's okay. But if you have gay sex outside of jail, they'll kill right. you. But in prison, you get a pass. That's or, right. Well, and the, the reason why it's like the most masculine places, like a football locker room, is the gayest the gay, place. Yeah. You know, hazing, sticking yeah. brooms up kids' asses. And, and then, then when you see like the the really gay guys that are all muscly and yeah, they're you know, in the best shape. Yeah, and um, you know. They're attracted to each other's muscles. Well, you know, we always joke about Alex Jones, but I do think the genetically modified stuff and all the chemicals that we eat mess up our endocrine system. Where thousand percent, yeah, they even say there's a gay bomb. You know, Joe Rogan was just talking about that the other day. Like there are declassified. Our case talking about it. Yeah, like there is something that can probably through outside. You know. I don't know how it would make you gay, but it, it can mess up your intricate system where maybe you have gay thoughts. Like, well, like you produce I know estrogen. it's through music. Oh, music's They're a turning yeah. everybody gay through the, all the men by getting those. I told my kids this, and they think I'm crazy. But these male singers that are, that are just fucking nothing but whiners. Sam Smith, Travis Scott, all these homosexual musicians. It all comes from Tavistock. They've been they uh -huh. they they have they do music science. Where mm -hmm. the reason why they can make a hit song, why Taylor Swift can have so many hits, is because mm -hmm. they know what chords and melodies or, or mm -hmm. you know har harmony. They just know what is ear can frequencies. Or yeah, they know exactly what frequencies. So li literally, the music is that is one of the biggest scams of how they do a yeah. lot of this weird and dark. It's scientific it's manipulation. They studied it in Tavistock, and that's also why they want you on drugs because they would give the soldiers listen to music while they were high on weed or LSD, mm -hmm. and they would see how they reacted. So they kind of know like what music. They know which drug to give them that makes them feel okay about pulling a trigger. Well, yeah, I mean, because they got them all desensitized with the uh, war games on the computers. Well, and that was a thing because th th that's a good conspiracy actually to kind of get into. One of the first uh, free games was a military simulation game mm -hmm. that taught kids how to shoot. It was a first person shooter that yeah. was just free. And yeah. that's kind of weird that the military put out a first person shooter. It's at, not weird at all. No, it's not weird at all when you and I know what's going on, but it's just, that's kind of, you know, they don't give us anything free. But no, also but like nobody wants to hear the real reason is what pisses me off and makes we have to drink so much. No, I don't really drink that much. But it's because, now I'm going to give you a Bible lesson. So okay, please. Because it's coming up on that time. It's called Amalek. Okay. And it's the evil inclination. That's our enemy. It ain't human.
I agree. I think it's like satanic or well, and this is let's really get into the woods. I actually believe in Nephilim. I think that my daughter does too. I, well, I just think that we're the kind of retarded offspring of the angels casted out of mm -hmm. of heaven, and I think we there was found some... the daughters of man fair. Yes, yeah, this is good. And, and this is why I know I think Nephilim's real because you just said this, Rosa, and you said, "Oh, Alex, you're really tall. You're taller than I thought." But I have a very small penis, so I'm Nephilim. And Nephilim had to have a small penis to be able to mate with the the angels. That's Is a that joke. I, no, oh, I'm kidding God, about that. So I just, I just, yeah, I'm totally so kidding. Uh, I just, that was a cut. That, that was a joke. But my point is that I do believe like there's something weird with this Nephilim and the story of our creation because there's something godly in us, but we're not God. We're, you know, there, we're, we're like, different you know well, god is us but we're not god exactly i mean yeah. you know he breathed into us we are yeah, a part he of it created us but we're not there there's we're the creation and the creator and its creation are in a unique relationship like when you when i said it's a creative free space being in the promised land out of slavery because what you create you're in a particular relationship with yeah and of course you want to see it do well and intervene at times when it's in peril. Well, that goes to the vibrational energy. When you're in yeah. that low vibrational state, you can't create. Well, you can't receive. You can't do anything, really. I mean, your your whole and like we talk about auras and vibes, and that's why I think when I first saw you, like my energy, I'm like, oh, I'm mag magnetically attracted to our energies, and I think that's why yeah. we agree on so much stuff. But there's so many other people. I'm sure you get around. And you're just like, oh, I can't even be around this person. I can just tell their vibes or what. I try to just match their vibe because you learn that the older you get. Uh, you are a chameleon. Yeah, I can I can match people's vibes pretty yeah. good. Like normal people is more fun because they're, <laughs> they're just real, you know. So like, you know, you could actually go, how do you make the best corn? Like something that matters in the world. Yeah. But then you'll get around other people. And uh, you go, definitely that scientific formula proved to be. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. It's fun, though, but it's different. In the hood, generation. they call that code switching. When, like, a black guy goes from being ghetto to when he gets oh. pulled over in the cop, you know, all of a sudden they're, it's code switching. So you're an expert at code switching. Like, in oh, one, yeah. one group, you can be the scientific, and then other person, you can say, oh, fuck shit, piss. And, you, you know, you yeah. get along with everybody. And that's why you resonated so well with the middle America. Now it just sucks that middle class America doesn't even exist. I know. I mean, the world that you created, the fictional world you created, on your shows is doesn't even exist anymore i know it's so sad it's really sad well, maybe, it my, I think maybe just my squeezed. tenth season was sort of a requiem if you'll no. watch it again yeah it no, is I, a requiem. I mean and then the fact that they had the audacity to kill you on an opioid i mean overdose I'm, which is so despicably satanic because glenn quinn who played mark becky mark did die of an opioid yeah. overdose. So it's like, ah, uh, you know. Well, well what did you think about this? Jennifer Aniston's raising hell because they killed her dad off in a plane crash. Uh, so her oh, dad, really? Yeah, her dad is a guy named John Aniston. I didn't realize. I know that. he's on the soap opera. He was there. He's been. He, I think he just passed away, like eighty nine or something. And then in this, he just passed away in between the last season and the new one. And she's freaking out because they killed off her dad's character in a plane crash, and she's scared. Which I kind of feel empathetic. I wouldn't, you know. I mean, her dad is an iconic thing, but she. She doesn't like the way they portrayed her dad's death. What do you think about that? As somebody that's been a victim of not liking the way their iconic character was killed off. I wish they would have killed Roseanne Connor because she was a uh, drove for what's that company? She drove a car for Uber. That. Uber. I wish they would have killed her by having a thug shoot her right to the fucking <laughs> yeah, head. Yeah, BLM riot. Yeah. Yeah, you know what would have been fitting is if Sarah Gilbert just put a pillow over Roseanne Connor's face in the middle of the night. That seems more accurate. And took out a will, took out all the money, and just fucking killed. Oh my her. god! That's how. It, that's about. how they should have wrote it. Life, huh? art imitating life. Sarah should have killed Roseanne with a pillow, and then taken all the, all the whatever. Yeah, money but I was. still can't believe it. I went on to get into it. Much. It's so. It's but you gave Fishman a job as a freaking uh, carpenter, and then he still turned his back and on you. And they didn't want him back on the show. They said, "Let's write the show without him" because yeah. they didn't want him. I said, "No, he has to come yeah. back." Yes, he's an iconic. And family. then they fucking fired him off the show. You know, after that, right? they fired me, the first oh. thing they did was fire him because yeah. 
They never wanted him, and they hated him. Because he sucks. Oh, yeah. I mean, no. Or, no, it's because he sucks. What do you think about child no, actors? Okay, yeah, I know. No, it's true. It's, I, I mean, sucks. acting's People hard. People loved him, and he tried. But, Roseanne, how did you Sometimes be... he was really good, too. I, I would... But he got too full of himself. But, I wanted to beat the fuck out of that kid. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be nice to Michael Fishman. I'm never gonna be nice to Michael Fishman unless you know what he could do. He I could apologize. To if you apologize, you could. Get that, him you know, go a long way because don't I do think there's apologize. a good. He no, he will. No, he will. He don't have no self reflection. I saw him turn into one of them too. Yeah, but so what is a kid? The self awareness. Can a kid that. become a successful actor and have a normal life? No. It? Yeah. I tried for those kids, but I guess it didn't work. Oh, he would talk about how you protected him on the set. You were a mom to him. I mean, when he I when know. he worked yeah. for me in, at the studio I ran, you know, occasionally sometimes me and mom would get into it. And of I'd course, like, yeah. God damn, my mom, and he'd be like, Argued "Your mom me. is an angel. She protected me every day." And then when the tweet happened. I was there defending her. I figured Michael's going to come up, and he's like, "What you did you used to have an inclusive space, and now." And he started talking like a. He said this to lip. you, Jake, or to he your mom? He tweeted this to oh, mom. Oh my! You God. used to be inclusive. That's to what's so me, weird about it. Basically it saying, "Why me. are you a racist, bitch?" It's like when they call Trump a racist. Yet he's been friends yeah. with black people his whole life. Well, that's I mean, why they call him a racist. Yeah, I mean, Trump was like best friends with Don King and all these black guys. You know, Herschel Walker back in the eighties. I mean, give me a break. He he dated black women. I mean, he sued that country club so they'd let black black people, people in. in. Yeah, I mean, listen and, and like whatever. Well, then he came up with uh, you know the prison reform and you know. He did got Kodak Black fucking ex yeah. was it Kodak Black yeah but see no. he did a lot he did someone else Obama he did but anyways they don't care no they could care less they they, they got they're stuck in uh, mind control they're completely voting against their own interests and they're stuck in it it's that boule yeah they when, got their own mind control like the Jews we got our own mind control every group which says. is Jonathan Greenblatt of the ADL who <laughs> is the devil he. He is devilish. He's gonna love hearing that clip. Yeah, no. isn't he devilish? I, I agree. I mean, uh, he never stuck up for me for one minute, but he defends George Soros, uh, Epstein, yeah. like everybody but me. <laughs> it pisses me off. Yeah, and I, I'm kind of wonder why that is. Though. Like you would think too, because or... I'm like because I tell the truth about Israel. No, no, no. I know, but I'm saying don't. People... No, but they hate Israel. But, but don't even even they if only you, like Tel Aviv. They love Tel Aviv. You know Tel Aviv is one of the gayest cities in the world. It's a hundred. It's ninety nine point nine gay. I didn't realize that. I gotta go. I'm gonna go in right now. <laughs> it's so fun. It's I know. I heard it's great. It's I need to go to Israel. Club, I want to go to his club. Yeah, no, I do. We went go to... in this club. Me and my mom. I took my mom to Israel. We go in this club. This, uh, I guess it's a Russian thing, and the guy's playing the uh, accordion on the bar it was fantastic but behind him right on the bar is a big old poster of a gorgeous russian man in a suit with his wiener out <laughs> and it's about 22 inches long mm -hmm. and my mother just kept on staring at it i was like mother would you please tear <laughs> your eyes from that <laughs> and uh then the guy saw my mother who's beautiful 89 always was beautiful he jumps off the bar and starts coming up and dancing with my mother right in front of the penis picture there. And uh, my mom starts going for it. Wow. It's like, you dirty. Like mom, like daughter right there. <laughs> mother, like daughter. My no, and mom's a well, big old hoe. This is what makes you so mad. We talk about Israel and their big dicks. Um, everybody gets mad. Oh, oh, we're giving four billion dollars to Israel. Yet those same people do not complain about all the money we're giving to the Ukraine. Like we should support Israel. We should support some of these places. I mean, well said. I, you know, it's just so ridiculous. It's like well, we give Nigeria, I think, more money than we give Israel. I mean, you know, it's just everybody thinks. Well, it, we won't be now. Well, we better start giving Nigeria a lot more money. Because they're kicking the French's ass, and I love it. Yeah, they're... I love that they're kicking Macron right in the fucking nuts, yeah, if he has any. Paris has fallen. But, you know, they had they had some of the lowest uh, COVID rates, and they had the, you know, uh, uh, they handled COVID better than all the first Niger. 
Nigeria, yes, they I had know, the lowest smart down there. They, yeah, and they take they're some. They're tired sort of, of being tested, having their population. Didn't the president get the peach that tested Pfizer. positive? Yeah, 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 yeah. And Did they, you know that story? Mark? And and I don't even want to say this one word. It's, it rhymes with pectin because YouTube won't even let us say it. But they take it because they deal with a lot of parasites in their water, so they have to take this medication that here in America was illegal to take for COVID. Yet they take it there. Uh, you might want to bleep it out. They no, are, it's statistically the truth. Yeah, well, they take it there just normally. It's just a prophylactic. Yeah, and they that, did really well against COVID. And they did really well. You're not saying that there's... No, uh, yeah, no. I want to say the vaccine is so safe and effective. I love it. I got six boosters. <laughs> uh, it's so good. Thank you, Dr. Fauci. You, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I got 22 boosters <laughs> right in my eyeball. <laughs> well, you know, and they tested that, the drugs on beagles. And I mean, uh, Dr. Fauci's actually... Even, Ew, and then the 80s... The AIDS drug. Yeah, AZT, which is a back-ordered cancer drug. They couldn't even sell it, and they gave it to all the they killed all those gay people in the 80s and nobody was standing nobody every single gay person was triple vaccinated i'm like do y'all not remember tw 25 years ago he was killing you guys yeah. and now you're all have a freaking ukraine flag and a and i got vax thing on your facebook profile give me a break i mean <laughs> that, they don't know that what they're supporting okay. and i want to make this point roseanne this is another thing you have to realize and i would never give you advice because you're smarter than me but these people not enough evidence will convince an idiot these people don't want to know you can even well, give it to them yeah. and they don't want to know so it's not even our job to wake these people up no because i heard this great quote you can never wake someone who's pretending to be asleep. Yeah, it's a great quote. Wow. That because I remember as a kid I'd pretend to be asleep about something. Wait, that is crazy. You can never wake somebody up that's pretending to be asleep. That yeah, is, they just don't give a fuck. That's the problem with this country today. That's what it is right they, there. They're not they probably know and don't give a fuck. They're like, I'm getting paid. Well, everybody it's will tell you there's government corruption. Shit. I know. But everyone it's getting... that pimp shit. It is a pimp shit. And, and they all know that there was election fraud before 2016. Yeah, well, everybody now was saying unheard it. of. Yeah, and everybody knows the government's corrupt on both sides. But all of a sudden, Joe Biden and Hunter Biden. And you know what? A lot of people make fun of Hunter Biden. I think that Hunter Biden smokes crack is the most likable thing about him. I, you know, <laughs> I mean, that, that makes him personable. You know, it's just now the illegal business deals with China and Ukraine. I don't like but the fact that influence he's, pendling. Yeah, I mean, pendling. The fact that he's just sleeping with prostitutes. My dad was a president. My mom died when he was a young kid. Fuck it. Go and smoke crack and sleep with the whores all you want, Hunter Biden. That makes him actually likable because everybody knows a drug addict friend or family member. Did you see that stuff on the Internet where he's given co his knees and all that on stuff? the internet he's given co supposedly given cocaine and having sex with obama's daughters yeah malia there's a co her credit card and there's a bunch of white residue on their credit card i mean something's going on there and there's that weird could stuff be a fake allegedly yeah that could be a fake all this could be, a lot of this uh, stuff on the laptop could you be you never fake. know what's true yeah but i'm just saying with 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 hunter biden it's so obvious that he is a drug addict and that he is but that's like i said that's the most likable thing about him is that what's sad to me is when he's uh masturbating himself and the poor the woman has to act like a nurse well, well this is what's so <laughs> well this is what's so pathetic is that his brother Bo biden died because he got cancer because the military put burn pits too close to the military bases in iraq and i actually had an uber driver and he, the uber driver is paralyzed he was nice and i was like hey how are you doing he's like oh i had brain surgery i was in the military and you know 27 people out of my battalion got cancer and not all of us lives i'm just lucky to be alive and this happened to the president's son joe biden's son got brain cancer from these legal burn pits and they don't give a damn they give two shits and all these people that are, are you know pro-military they don't give a damn about the vets when they come back here that's why i tell these people i love america i piss and bleed red white and blue all that stuff put a boot in their ass but if you go to the military they are going to chew you up and spit you out and not give a damn about you yeah that's why they got, all got to go to Space Force. That's the future right there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't even... Go, that's where all the money went. You know what I was going to say? My theory is what they did with all that moon landing money, they build them tunnels. Yeah, no, that that was all money that's Ponzi scheme all. too. And because you know how you know it, now they have to subsidize it to private companies like t Tesla or SpaceX, excuse me. You know, now it's like the government doesn't even want to put their money in it. But with the government, with anything in space, NASA, that's a militarized wing of our government. The NASA mm -hmm. space is like a fifth branch. Run by Nazis, remember? Yeah, Warner Operation von Braun. Paperclip. 
Yeah. Operation Paperclip. People don't realize this. And this is what they joke about the Holocaust. The Nazis didn't lose the war. They yeah, see, this it. is what makes me so mad. I would never deny the Holocaust, but this is what makes me so mad. They never talk about Operation Paperclip. They never talk about how the top spies, and Joseph Mengele, the most disgusting doctor, would cut went off. Went to Brazil. Yeah, went to Brazil. They never cut him. He would take, he would find twins and take out an eyeball and try to put it in the other twin's eyeball. Do these incredible, as a matter of fact, With he, no painkillers. No painkillers because they wanted to see how they reacted. He loved twins. Like they were obsessed with twins doing these experiments on they it. They liked uh, little people too. Yeah, oh, the dwarfs, yes, because mm -hmm. they wanted to study how that happened. But nobody ever talks about Operation Paperclip. Like, I mean, you, all you do is hear about six million people. But you all know? you need to do is look at Antifa's flag with the uh, flag of the street gangs in Hitler's time, and they're exactly the same. Yeah, I mean, it, the, the Holocaust is... They won, they took over, they invented MK Ultra. Well, they became Operation Paperclip, and then they became our secret service. I mean, the, the top people that were in the Nazi party, we don't ever talk about that, and we talk about in the Ukraine war that there's literal Nazis, Azov Battalion. I'm anti-Nazi. I mean, I'm anti... Uh, uh, that means you're a fascist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so doublespeak. Yeah. All of it's fucking doublespeak. And it's all just BS, really, at the end of the day. It's like, you well, know. they're going to blow us sky high. That's my hope and prayer for the world. Not my prayer is that, we're, you know, we can change it. But you know what? I don't think we can. No, I, I think it's all going to be It's all over. Sky see, high. Is what see that's, it's what, all over. It's, that's what they call being black pilled. And I'm black pilled. But now I'm at the point where I'm just clown pilled. They're laughing at <laughs> I'm us. Clown -pilled. Yeah. I'm, so I'm just going to laugh back at you and flick I'm you off. Laugh back yeah. Because they're, you know, they're, they, they piss on us every day and tell us it's raining. So the only way. It to, wasn't enough for the emperor to just walk down the street naked. Yeah. To jerk now off. he has to come. And spread his ass cheeks and wipe it on your face. Exactly right. You're basically giving him a rim job. No, and, and you know, that's one thing I've noticed where I've been effective. And the only reason I'm sitting in a room with you is that these politicians, the people in power, they are scared of mockery more than anything. Oh, it's their death. It's the, If you mock these people, these ultra serious people. Laugh them to scorn. It's kryptonite to them. Yeah. It, that's what I was going to say I admire about you because you remind me of the 60s when we were all into... My friends and me, we was all into guerrilla theater, and that's what you're doing. It's so great. Yeah, it's really... We used to have this one thing called Ladies Against Women, which to <laughs> me is exactly like the Democrat bitches yeah. and the trans. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like we they dress up like housewives and have these signs. It is unladylike to accept money for work. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's really what these people are. I mean, now I think the top three women CEOs in America are all transgender. We're <laughs> all men. Yeah. So it's well, like they'd rather have them than women. Yeah, it's like women against women. So the feminist movement is saying that a person can cut off their genitals and be able. That's to why I dressed up like Hitler in drag in that heat magazine. Yeah, and, and that's what I was saying. Yeah, and fascism comes from the woman. And people don't understand is that you're lampooning something by doing that. You're making yeah. fun of Hitler, and they take that. Uh, well, just... lock, anybody who lock, marches in lockstep and shuts down freedom of speech, including these quote-unquote feminists, which they're not, because yeah. feminism is about freedom and, and rights and creativity, free creative space for all humans. But they ain't that. They're careerists. They're all working for corporate corporations and that's the last thing on earth that's democratic is a fucking corporation or feminine yeah well and that's or what that's what just runs the world is these multinational corporations that can just buy and sell these politicians and you know it's funny though on the right side um um there's this kind of weird line where you're talking about feminism where now people on the far right are like Women are only baby makers. They should only be in the house cooking and cleaning. See, I don't think that's right either. I think a woman, you know, there are obviously some matriarchal things that a woman is better at than a man. But I think... Yeah, raising children. Yeah, of course. That's the only thing a woman is better at than a man. <laughs> yeah. And she can't fucking stand it. <laughs> She's like, nope, I got to get out there and spread my business in town too. And just be a spinster their whole life and just, you know... Nah. I don't. I like spinsters. Yeah, I mean, that's I'm what telling I'm you, spinsterism. There ain't nothing like it. <laughs> well, that, that's what I'm it's saying. Great. I, I actually agree with that. You know, I do like a woman that, like, I like a girl boss, but it's just gone too crazy. It's kind of no. Uh, but I mean, that is what women do better than men. Yeah, as, as a home, being a caretaker, it's the greatest thing in the world. 
and and they take away that special unique thing like a woman you know that she can have a baby they say oh what is a woman well it's very easy you know a woman can have a baby she has the ability to create life in her womb that's so special that no trans but she better quit doing it because they're all gonna fucking die so save them yeah, or yeah, they're you gonna go get your friggin' tubes tied and make a bow in your hair well, out of your uterus because don't be bringing no more babies down here for a no while. No white babies. We'll just take the ones from Ecuador and Venezuela. <laughs> those are, those are the babies we through like. The tunnels. Mm. Yeah, through the tunnels. We love those babies. <laughs> oh. Well, I see it all the time. I go and walk at Bachman Lake and there's Lovefield Airport where you'll see like a little Venezuelan guy with like two kids and they all have a new shirt from Walmart and they're wearing a mask when nobody's wearing masks anymore because they don't know what they're doing. So like you know, it's just very weird. The, the, they always like my biological father. They busted in for that re- great replacement theory, but that's real. They are trying to replace people with just uh, basically foreigners because this is this sounds real crazy. Let's get in the woods. They want us in the future, and they think that this will happen. That will all be one race and one sex one day. Yeah, that's exactly it. Docile workers, and and you're gonna say, oh, that's impossible. Well, there's a lot of stuff that's impossible that they still want to do. You know, mm-hmm. they, it's impossible that they. Pers- well, they're gonna be having all the babies what with their sex slaves like Jeffrey Epstein. Well, they'll have an incubation where they'll have yeah. it where they can make it in a test tube. And then, but you know what their highest thing is, because I really have been going into this witchcraft shit and looking at it. I mean, I was in a coven when I was. Well, Marina younger. Abramovich, you know who that is. Yeah, but I was in a like coven where we. We didn't do any of that shit. What we did was, you know, uh, study herbs and crystals. We didn't do any of that shit. No spirit cooking. You wouldn't get the oh, semen in the no. blood. We, uh-uh. We, we weren't like that. We didn't do She's that best like friends that. with Bill Gates and Jeffrey Epstein, Marina Abramovich, and then she was just in a Microsoft ad. But no, that, that Satanism, that's, that's real. Like Barack Obama, they all love Satan. Yeah, they do. Lucifer. Yeah, we talked the about light it. bearer. And that's where this trans stuff comes from is Baphomet. It's literally this, I mean, demonic character that has female breasts but a male torso. And it's like this weird mental confusion thing. It even comes from like Aleister Crowley. Mm-hmm. And you look at the Church of Scientology with L. Ron Hubbard, who is best friends with him, and that's connected. There's just all this weird occultic secret religion stuff right in front of our face. But if you told a person on the street this is happening, they'd say, oh, I don't know about that. I'm worried about my cell phone bill getting paid this <laughs> month. I'm worried about my car. Yeah, now. I was talking to some people on stage down in Austin about, and they didn't even know what I was talking about. I was talking about uh, the story of Jonah and the whale. Oh, they had something. Not. They're like, huh? Like you, y'all don't even read the Bible now. No. They don't know nothing well, about the, it. The occultic people know the Bible more than anything because yeah. they invert the Bible. Yeah, it's all inverted Judaism. Yeah, but you know, unluckily for them, some of us know that, and they still don't know the real thing because they don't have it, which is a soul that's connected to God. They ain't got that. Well, that's the most important thing is that we have a soul. People think, you know, it's like, you know, you're a soul that has a body. You're not a body that has a soul. You're not a thumb that has a soul. You're a soul that has a thumb. And they want to... They want to make you think that you don't have a soul. Your life is not important. You're just a little kid. Cut off your penis. Your life doesn't matter. And that's the opposite. It's our soul that's the most important thing. And like, I can feel... I'm, my mom passed away. I'm saying, I can feel other souls. I'm sure you can too. People like, there is something... They even say there's dimensions and frequencies we can't hear or see with our yeah, eyes. So something could be right here, right now. We well, they even... are. They're our peers. Yeah. And when we speak about them, they just are here. Exactly speaking right. Speaking them into existence. No, I, I believe there's that. There's 10 levels of consciousness at all times. Yes, there's and layers. We just went through about eight of them. <laughs> Aren't right. you hungry, though? Yeah, no, I'm always hungry. I'm always down to eat. But I'm telling you, uh, this is... It's such a pleasure even being able to sit here and talk. And like a lot of people are watching this like, what are you guys talking about? This is high level stuff. This is not your introductory 101 course. This is like the 501 top of the line, you know, I advanced say, studies this class. This is up here in the penthouse of thought where wars are decided. Yeah, we got to yeah. come up with a new uh, precursor for pill. This is like, yeah, the, what is what this one? This pill? is like well, black pill, or red pill, clown blue pill, pill blue clown pill. pill. This is this is some other new pill. This is like a vapor or like a, a, it's a frequency. Bomb. Our pill. The frequency too. I mean that that really does. You know what it's called in deep Judaism? What? Well, it's called keter. That that's here at the crown of your head, where it's the covering of the pineal gland, which is what the Satanists love to eat. The of. third eye. Yes. Yeah. The, but that that's the pine cone that's on the Pope's thing, and it's also what was in the Holy Temple. It is the Holy of Holies, is the pineal because that is a frequency collector from 
the creator. So that's why they gave us fluoride and all that shit to shut it down. But you can open it up with frequency and meditation and breath. But anyway. No, 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 you're right. I want to make this point because your pineal gland, they want to calcify it. But if you actually look at our shockers from our from our butt shocker to our top shocker, uh, then oh, that's not the proper word. But they're actually color coded. And the, the rainbow flag is the opposite of our chakra. Yeah, it it's It should be the other way around. And they leave out one color. Yeah, it, it's weird. They leave out one of the colors of the chakra. It, it, there, it is something to that, like yoga. It's that, inverted Judaism. But the whole thing I want to say is they want to say, oh, if you're depressed, the, one of the best ways to beat depression is diet, meditation, you know, self-reflection, a little bit of exercise. Like you can actually heal yourself. Yeah, you, you don't, can. It's you don't, easy. Yeah, it's really easy. And take a walk. Take a walk. Breathe. breathe. That's one of the secrets. Empty your mind. They didn't tell one person during COVID, oh, go outside and get a walk. You know, they didn't. Get in the sun. No, they well, fucking Trump arrested you if you went to the yeah, beach. They Vitamin him D. Maniac. Yeah. And they try to say that he was saying drink bleach, which is so stupid. I mean, obviously. Oh, my too. God. They're just buzzards. They wanted us to drink bleach. That's why they created that fake thing. I happened upon some information in my perusal of the internet. Yeah, well, you know, they call it the serpent seed theory, where yeah. that, that the serpent that I said, don't eat from the Garden of Eden, you will die. And then they took a bite, and then they didn't die. So there's people that worship the serpent. They say, oh, well, the serpent was wrong, because God said if you eat that, you're going to die, and they didn't die. So the, the serpent seed theory, who they say, Obama and all these people, is that God was bad, and that the serpent, that's why they worship the serpent. The that's serpent. Like the Luciferians, they think he's the God of light. Exactly right. Yeah. yeah so that's that's the no, version. they think that the first woman was, uh, I, you're not supposed to say her name, but it starts with an L. Lily, I call her. And that uh, she was the first wife of Adam and that the, she had sex with the snake who's the devil. And that was Cain. Oh, wow. And then... Adam, killed Abel. Adam had Abel, and that's why the two brothers were twins, because they had two different fathers. And the Cainites, they, they're the worshipers of Baal. Yeah. They think they're more than human, and that, you know, we're, we're nothing but duds. Well, and Baal worship's still going on today. Yeah, for thousands <laughs> of years. It's never left. And they go on child sacrifice. Oh, and they used to even like you look at Bohemian Grove and stuff where they do rituals where they do the sacrificial, you know, where they the kids in ball they would you know sacrifice their own children to a demonic being because they thought it would help them. I mean, they thought it made the sun come up. Yeah, yeah. but that's all humans were that goddamn stupid. Yeah, we are. But they never got better. No, we, it's like what are you still doing that shit for? We've gotten dumber. They must have got some benefit out of it, like. Some people say, well, they really do access real demons. I don't know about that, but it might be in their head like that. I think they do. Yeah, something. I mean, we live in idiocracy now. That movie. I think so. That was a documentary, and yeah. that's a cliche to say, but that, they're right. Like, we're, we're just all addicted to porn, instant thing. We, you know, like, we don't, we're just so dumb. We would put, we would put Gatorade on crops to make it grow because <laughs> we think Gatorade's better than water. It's that's got our, electrolytes. Yeah, it's got electrolytes. Like, that's how we think. Even though a human, it's probably so much better to drink a glass of water than a bottle of Gatorade. Like from the toilet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> toilet. <laughs> water but that's really where we are we're becoming dumber and i think the the smartest civilizations were the ones in the 50s or even way before that the people that built the pyramids i mean we've gotten dumber you look at the technology that we have all this technology but you look at the buildings that were built before we had any of these power tools I know. beautiful ornate they can't even recreate the gargoyles in manhattan they don't have a stone mason well that can... they don't want to because then we'll figure out what they are well everything well, see this like is why i think the moon landing was real because you said the technology in 1969 couldn't have been better, but four thousand years ago the technology was better. We yeah. Just made that well, I, I believe Tesla had free energy or something. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. 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 Of course they could have landed on the moon in nineteen sixty. Yeah, well, maybe if they had Tesla's energy. I mean, there, there you <laughs> yeah. go. But but I don't think so. I you think just that's don't know. we're dumber today than we've ever been as a species. Yeah. But I think we're smarter too because we can hold about a whole library in our head at once. Okay. Yeah. I mean the internet I mean look at what we know just from the internet. I mean Yeah, but we don't, don't even know what on the internet is real. Read. Yeah, you retain them, and they'll come at you at the weirdest times too. Like a, fa a whole page of Wikipedia will flash before your eyes when you're eating a cheese sandwich for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, I eat a lot of. It doesn't cheeses. just 
<laughs> disappear. It just comes back when it wants to. But now aren't we overindulged with information a little bit yeah. too? You know, you're like sensory overload. You don't even know what to process because you're just so much crap is getting we thrown at We don't even know what's real. Know. We don't yeah. Know what's real. We always say it. Every time we do this podcast, we're like, you know, I read this somewhere, but I don't know. Like we know less today than before the internet. And this I, is this is why I would say I think the most important brain to use is our gut. That's kind of our second yeah. brain. Yeah. That's like like – Whenever I'm thinking, and I've made a lot of mistakes, you know, I've been canceled, not to your level, but I'm saying I went against my gut a lot of those times. I should have gone with my gut. Looking not back. me. I went right with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucked up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll tell you one thing the Bible says that is your key is your skin. When you the hairs on your body stand up, that's God telling you. You're having a reaction. Well, that is holy. something. When you get the chills yeah. like that, holy, holy, there is something very spiritual yeah. and esoteric mm -hmm. happening mm -hmm. that's kind of hard to explain. You've just heard holy truth. So that, that's a good one to know. Well, I just can't wait for us to Then when you have to fart, that's bad. Well, I fart like crazy. I got, I You'll be farting cheese. as soon as you eat my uh Stuff mushrooms and pizza I made for you. I'm gonna eat the hell I'm out of it. I'm starving. Let's go. Okay, eat. let's go right, well, eat. We do I one loved thing. having you. What? Oh, we gotta do the. I gotta uh, do we gotta do the the gold ad, and then we can. What? Buy. Birch right, gold. Which gold is it? Was Beverly Hills gold. Oh, okay. What do I? Do, do you want me to read it, or do you want to read it? eh pncom Tell them Roseanne. We just dropped. Why didn't you write it down for me for God's? Because I just figured I was gonna do it. Because eh what? B Beverly Hills precious metals. bh pn oh, okay. Beverly Hills Precious Metals. <laughs> you can't just say bhpm.com. No, you go to bh-pm.com. bh-pm.pm.com. Beverly Hills Precious Metals.com. Dash Precious Metals. Let them know Roseanne sent you. Let them know Roseanne sent you. Be, that's it. We just, we and just. You'll get a percentage. You don't off. get any of that. Oh, you don't so, get no. that. That's why I'm going to do the ad. No, here's what you need to know, Mom. <laughs> we had the episode with, with Andrew from Beverly Hills oh, Precious yeah. Metal that that went on YouTube today and Rumble. We had a 30 minute interview. He's this guy is super knowledgeable, Alex. He's you know, oh, metal. he was a yeah. great guest. And I will be. I said, I bet you don't know about Cleopatra sneaking her gold through the Jews. Yeah. Is that to, true? To, I didn't realize it. He didn't know about it. Yeah. I, who knows if it's. True. But anyway, what we allegedly what we're trying allegedly <laughs> we say that a lot on this podcast. <laughs> this show should be called allegedly. It should be called. I think there already is, but yeah. allegedly is good. I'm gonna put it in the title. You're allegedly like pilled. It. Yeah. But anyway, if you go to bh-pm.com and you sign up for a free consultation and say Roseanne sent you, you actually can transfer and protect your wealth. By putting it in precious metals. Do you do this? Do you do yes, silver? Yes, actually, gold? I do have a little bit in that. I'm not a super wealthy man, but I'm telling you, the dollar is going to it's die. Going to yeah. it, it's good for people that yeah. don't and especially, have a lot. Especially if they have a digital dollar, they put us on the you know Bitcoin on it's the blockchain. Over. Don't go on that. No. Yeah, it's toast. He said the best thing. He said it's not about gaining wealth necessarily, precious metals. It's Keeping. about protecting. Yeah, protecting. Yeah. So anyway, okay. So okay. now we can wrap up. Okay, it's been delicious being here with you, just like my pizza will be. <laughs> Let's eat. Alex, you're amazing. Thank you, you so much. Oh, no, you guys, trust me. Will you me. be a regular? Yeah, are you kidding? I'll be here anytime. Oh, you see.